Hi friends, my name is Mrs. Coyden. Some of you might remember me because I come into the Harrington School weekly to read in the library as a volunteer. So today I'm gonna to read you a book that was one of my children's favorite books when they were your age. It's called Where the Wild Things Are. The author who wrote the book and the illustrator who drew the pictures of the book is called Morris Sendak. And this book is a fiction book. You will see it's definitely not true, but it's a fun book and I hope you enjoy it. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind, look what he's doing with the hammer, and another, His mother called him Wild Thing, and Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. He does not look very happy there, does he? That very night, in Max's room, a forest grew. And grew and grew until the ceilings hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. Can you imagine that in your bedroom? And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through the day and night in his private boat. and in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And look what he sees, a dragon. And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and they gnashed their terrible teeth and they rolled their terrible eyes and they showed their terrible claws. So Max said, be still, little Max, and tame them with the magic trick of staring into their yellow eyes without blinking once, and they were frightened, and they called him the most wild thing of them all. Look, they're all frightened of little Max. And they made him the king of the wild things. See his crown? And they bowed down to him. And now cried Mac, Max, let the wild ruckus begin. And a ruckus, rumpus, I'm sorry, rumpus is a loud, party, noisy dancing. And look what they're doing. They're dancing and they're yelling. And now look what they're doing. They're hanging from the trees, including Max. And look what Max is doing now. He's riding on one of them, like they're his horse. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. But they don't live in a bedroom, do they? They live in the forest, but they're all sound asleep. But look at Max. And Max, the king of all wild things, was lonely. And he wanted to be where someone loved him most of all. Then all around from far across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their ter terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye and said, no.
And he sailed back over the year and in and out of the weeks and all through the day. and into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. You see his supper on the table? And doesn't Max look happy? And guess what? His supper was still hot. The end. This was fun reading to you. I hope you all have a wonderful summer, and I hope to see you again at Harrington School. Bye!